Is the new Audi SQ2 a sports hatch or a hot SUV? More importantly, does it deserve either title? Let's go and find out. New to Australia, but on sale in Europe since 2018, the SQ2 is a burly bro for the Q2 compact SUV. It's an obvious competitor for the Mercedes AMG GLA and BMW X2 M35i, but undercuts them both significantly on price. The SQ2 arrives in Australia at the same time as the updated Q2, and you can pick them apart by a few key design signatures. They include these 19-inch alloys, matrix LED headlights, red brake calipers and quad tailpipes. Inside you'll find sports front seats in Napa leather, a leather sport steering wheel, the 12.3 inch Audi virtual cockpit and a 705 watt Bang & Olufsen sound system. There are some omissions. The driver's seat doesn't have power adjust and there's no spare tyre. Audi says you'll be able to option an emergency spare but hasn't settled on a price yet but giving the SQ2 real bang is what you'll find here under the bonnet. This 221 kilowatt turbo petrol four cylinder engine that's familiar already from the S3 Pocket Rocket and the TTS sports car. Allied with a seven speed dual clutch gearbox and on demand all wheel drive, the SQ2 hunkers down and rips from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in as little as 4.9 seconds. The SQ2 is a very familiar Audi from the driver's seat. High quality materials, lots of adjustability, and plenty of tech. The virtual cockpit remains a favorite. You'll never get lost again. In the back seat, the SQ2 is pretty squeezy, but then this is the sort of car you wanna be in the front seat anyway. Considering the overall small size of the SQ2, the boot is reasonable ensuring this is a car useful in the city as well as on winding roads. But it's the latter where you're gonna to get to know the SQ2 much better. This is such a lively and engaging small car to drive. Sure, it sits a bit higher in its stance than a hot hatch, but it's still zippy, cohesive and enjoyable. If I'm gonna pick out some negatives, then tire noise is one and a sharp edge to the ride is another. Overall, the SQ2 does what an Audi S model should, add some character to the base model without going nutty. So where does that leave the SQ2? Hot SUV, sports hatch? How about a bit of both along with a touch of luxury? It's a pretty lively and appealing combination.